In every country, you find a myth that defies time and passes through generations, without being erased by the acceleration of events and the technological developments in the world. Today, I will tell you about a story that is still told and even believed by many in Morocco. In the ancient times, in an area called Sous in the southern parts of Morocco, there was a couple living alone happily. Their life was full of love and joy, even though they did not have much. However, no happiness lasts forever. One day, the husband became seriously ill and died. According to the traditions at that time, the widows should enter a mourning period. They must wear a white dress and not show for men for four months and ten days. But the widow in this story did not bear to stay alone all that time. But instead, she had an affair with another man. Ignoring all the traditions and beliefs of that time and tainting the memory of her loving husband in the process. Therefore, it is believed that she was subjected to a divine punishment and became a horrible, ugly-looking beast, half a mule and half a woman, but much larger than an ordinary mule. She gained tremendous power and was bound by iron chains that people could hear whenever she approached them. Her eyes were red and could be seen from very long distances. <laughs> the widow lived in the cemeteries, prayed on men and buried them alive. She thought that men were the reason she turned into this ugly looking beast. In the daylight she slept with the dead, and at the beginning of every night the hunt begins. That is why they call it Tankmart Misendel in Tamazirt, the native language of that area, meaning the mule of the graves. According to some tales, she had the ability to change her shape. Sometimes, when it's dark, she goes to the houses of nearby villages in the form of one of their acquaintances, lure a man and takes him to the cemetery to eat her catch. Sometimes she may kill more than one man. There is a story about a tribe of nomads who move from place to place in the search of food and water. One day they reached the forest. There was an old cemetery in that forest, but it was not visible. And aware of the cemetery near them, the tribe decided to spend the night there. In the morning, the women woke up to a scene that froze blood in their veins. All men have been killed, even male children. Their bodies have been torn, their guts and limbs scattered everywhere. There were footprints of a mule stained with blood. The strange thing is that this terrible massacre took place without the women feeling or hearing anything, not even a cry. Everything happened in a strange silence. Because of these horrific stories, the men were so afraid, to the extent that men in some tribes avoided passing by the cemeteries for fear of encountering the mule of the graves. The myth is one of the strangest Demesiert myths. It seems closer to a horror film than a legend and in some respects it resembles the vampire myth. Perhaps the difference between the two legends is that the mule of the graves targets men in particular and does not hurt women at all. The mule of the graves haunt men only, humiliate them, tear their genitals and bury them alive sometimes, as if she were avenging herself and other women of the agony and pain caused to them by some men. 
in the old days and still till this day in some regions, when a Tamazight woman is angry with her husband or a man in general, she asks God to make him encounter the mute of the graves, so he pays for his wrongdoings in the worst possible way.